guys it's amber and welcome back to the amber alert channel in today's video i'm going to be going over newborn must-haves so this is everything that i absolutely use i'm just going to tell you a little bit about each item and why i love the item so much before we even go any further i want you to hit that thumbs up button give me a like it's free and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have any newborn must-haves that i haven't mentioned leave a comment below and let your other fellow viewers know what your thoughts are okay guys let's get into it okay so the first few things i don't have on hand because obviously they're around my house but the first thing you really need to put on your registry is whatever you are going to put your baby to sleep in i personally have a crib um i try to get a non-toxic crib so i can insert the crib that i have i got a convertible crib so once he is not in the baby phase anymore it is able to turn into a bed so hopefully we get to you we get years out of that crib and it was not that much money so that's just something to consider you can also get a bassinet the reason i didn't get a bassinet is because it only lasts you for a few weeks so i definitely think that you should look into that before you order or buy an expensive bassinet now along with whatever the item is that you choose to put your baby to sleep in do not forget a mattress if it doesn't come with it um, and also sheets for your um, sleeping arrangements. Number two is a car seat. And with that comes a stroller. I actually have the upper baby stroller. I absolutely love it. It was a lot of money, but um, that was our big buy item. And in terms of car seat, we have a Britax. Just look out for flame retardants when you are shopping for your car seats because you really do not want to have a car seat with a whole bunch of flame retardants, okay? Number three is my carrier. I have the Infantino carrier, and this bad boy puts my son to sleep, okay? It goes right around my body, like with this part, and these parts just go on your shoulders, and then they hook in the back, And then you put your baby here with his little feet coming out of the sides here and you clip him in and with this you can really get things done um i put him in this even sometimes at night when he's really fussy and he just wants to be on me i will put him in this and walk him around and in 10 to 15 minutes he is knocked out so definitely consider a carrier. I know some people got like um, the wraps and things like that. I don't know. I didn't want to be bothered with all of that. So the carrier is a must for me. I use it on a regular basis. The next thing I say that I love is the boppy. So I actually got two boppies. I'm going to show you guys both of them. And I'm going to show you. This one is a newborn lounger. So it's not open. It's closed. And you can put the baby in here just to hang out or whatever. This, um, the baby grows out of this fairly quickly. So I would recommend purchasing the open one. Which is the one I love. And it even shows you on the side that this thing can last for a few months, right? It, it shows you... I used it for feeding like once or twice, so I didn't really use it for that. But I do use it to put the baby here and just ha he hangs out. I've used it for his newborn, his photos that I took at home. I did DIY photos and I use this. Um, you know, this I, I got a lot of uses out of this one and I feel like I still can get uses out of it. So I definitely recommend getting the open one over the closed one. The next item that I recommend is some kind of swaddle arrangement. So I have two to show you guys. The first one I'm going to show you and you'll see you if you watched my bath time video, you saw me use this. It is the Aiden and Anai swaddle blankets. I love these because they're not specifically for swaddling. You can use them to just cover your baby if you're running outside. You can use them to wrap him up, but they are 
they're kind of long but they are swaddle blankets and they are a great material so i really love these i also did get the halo sleep sack this one is a swaddler so how this works is you put his arms through and his legs and you zip him up with the zipper and then once you do that all you do is put his arms straight or whatever and wrap him up into this i really recommend trying different things to see because sometimes your baby might not necessarily gravitate to one swaddle over the other those are my two recommendations for swaddles my next recommendation is clothes so when it comes to clothes you are going to need undershirts so obviously little white undershirts just to show you guys they do open up very wide on the top and I have these in so many different colors, but I do have a lot of white. And I have short sleeves and long sleeves. So these definitely come in handy. They run through these, okay? I'm telling you right now, babies run through these. And I just like them because I sometimes put them under his other clothes or he just wears these around the house and he's fine. You also really need socks, hats, and things like that. I do not recommend mittens. The reason why... When your baby is born, they really cannot see that well. The only sense that they really have is touching things and, and smelling things and hearing things. But touching is necessary. So if you have mittens covering your baby's hand, you are already taking away another one of their senses. That can be detrimental to your baby's development. So if you don't believe me, you can research that because it's a real thing. But I do not, I never use mittens. Yes, my baby did scratch his face up a little bit, but... I do try to stay on top of filing his nails. So that brings me to my next point, which is a filer. It's very necessary. I ordered one off of Amazon. I can give you the link below, but that was another necessity for me. Back to clothes. I also recommend onesies and I love these. These, this brand is actually Cloud Island. It's from Target. And I love it because it is a double zipper. So it actually, you can either zip it from the top or zip it from the bottom. Which is very useful for when you have your baby and, you know, you don't want to wake them up. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to grab the zipper from here and go all the way down. With this one, you can grab the zipper from here and pull it up and just change your diaper real quick and that's it. Yes, these are so cute with the buttons on them. I got so many of them too because a lot of the, the designer ones, Nike, stuff like that, they only have the clips, the, the buttons. But these are just so annoying. Like, it gets so confusing when you get to the bottom and you don't know. Uh, I don't know. Just throw those out, guys. Don't worry about those. Get the zip, get zippers. I'm telling you, it'll save you so much time and so much energy, especially late at night when you're changing your baby. My next necessity is burp cloths and bibs so i actually have two kind of burp cloths these are um green sprouts they're actually organic cotton so i had picked these up i believe i got these off of amazon too i'm not 100 percent sure these were when he was like really young because he wasn't spitting up as much it was just like a little wipe around his mouth so these work perfectly and then now we are on to the big boy burp cloths so these are very good they go right here and you know these are also green sprouts but these are the bigger ones. and then in terms of bibs obviously bibs come in all shapes all sizes they have these they also have the bandana bibs i know a lot of people swear by them they're cute when you're going out and you want something like an outfit, but I don't know. It's, it gives me handkerchief vibes. I'm not I'm not a fan. The next thing I recommend, this is my detergent. The detergent I use is Molly Suds. You can also find it on Amazon. I do not do um, Dref, Tide, anything like that. Um, this is another, another whole thing with the chemicals that are in those detergents. So I do use Molly Suds and it has worked fine. It gets stains out of his clothes fine. They smell fine. I add some drops of lavender in with the Molly Suds in my washing machine and it's perfect. I love how he smells and 
if your baby's clean i use coconut oil on his skin he still smells good so don't even worry okay my baby still smells good don't even stress but a lot of people um their babies are breaking out and getting eczema and rashes and they're unsure why and you may want to look into your detergent it could very well be a reason because these detergents these days have so many toxic chemicals and you would never even know so just keep that in mind if your baby is breaking out or anything like that the next thing that you are absolutely going to need and this is obvious are diapers and wipes diapers that i use i use andy pandy there so i'm going to show you guys one of them it has this yellow line and when the baby's wet the line turns blue and it goes it wraps all the way around so that is very useful a lot of diapers don't have that some of them do but some of them don't these are also biodegradable they're very clean diapers they don't have as many toxic chemicals as other diaper brands do so that's the reason that we opted to go with andy pandies and they have been fine so far in terms of wipes i am currently using water wipes same concept as my diapers i use water wipes because they're not as toxic as other wipes if you read a lot of the ingredients that are in other wipes i try not to use anything on Jaden that i cannot pronounce so if i can't pronounce it more than likely i'm not using it so the water wipes are perfect they only have they have 99.9 percent .9 water and 0.01% oh sorry a drop of fruit extract water wipes are definitely my go-to my next go-to is the nose Frida snot sucker guys and people hate this I actually was like oh no I'm not gonna need to do that but then I actually needed to do it when your baby comes home think about it your baby has been living in water for months and your baby's nose is going to be very clogged up a lot of times your baby is going to be noisy breathing so you are going to want to clear their nose and make them a bit comf a bit more comfortable so you can use this snot sucker the nose Frida it comes with a saline spray that you can use and you just do um like two sprays in the nose and then it comes with the actual snot sucker so this part goes into into your baby's nose and this part goes in, in your mouth and you just suck it up and no it does not go in your mouth because they have a little filter here the blue filter that stops anything from going into the tube part and it comes with extra filters so when one filter gets too messy too dirty you can just change it out so the nose frida definitely was a go-to for me it does get his nose all clean and good um and that was just something that I recommend. My next go-to, you are going to need a hooded towel and some kind of bath um, tub for your baby. I mean, a lot of people use just a sink and put their baby in there. I'm clumsy. I'm scared. I make him slide and it's soapy and I get a little nervous. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I actually at first was using the blooming flower i wasn't too fond of it because i feel like it just gets dirty a lot or you know if you don't wring it out properly or dry it properly it can get moldy and things like that so just keep that in mind so i switched from the flower and i ended up using the regular bathtub the bathtub i'm using now actually has a newborn side and then an infant side um so when they're able to hold their head up they can sit on the, they can use the other side so it's all in one the blooming flower obviously only lasts for as long as your baby can fit into the sink and that's basically it with that i recommend a hooded towel the reason i say hooded is because sometimes you are going to wash your babies here and you are you don't want to be transferring your baby out of a hot or warm bathroom bathtub into cold air and have the air hitting their head so i recommend a hooded towel you put it on and you take them out of the bathroom and that just keeps them warm the next thing i recommend is a sound machine so i'm kind of 50 50 on this i use the sound machine but i also sometimes put sound uh, i can i can just google not google youtube white noise for babies on youtube and then i get all of that stuff so you can do that if you do not want to purchase a sound machine the only problem with that is when you're using your phone um 
I don't like having the phone too close to Jaden because of the radiation being transmitted from the phone. So I recommend a white noise machine. It's just a little safer for the baby. Um, and also you don't have to worry about your phone being charging and all this type of stuff The next thing I recommend is a baby monitor and I do not have any fancy baby monitor I don't have a Wi-Fi baby monitor a Bluetooth baby monitor I have the baby monitor that you plug into the wall and then you have the other one and you leave the room The other ones you hear so much horror stories about people peeking on your child and all these type of things I just went with the simplest one that I wouldn't have to deal with all of that type of stuff and it works fine I hear him fine so that's all I say you guys should just think about that the Wi-Fi ones I also heard a lot of bad things in terms of if your Wi-Fi connection in your house is not strong enough then it's cutting in and out and all these type of things so just keep that in mind when you pick a baby monitor I will show you the one I got here very simple very easy to use um really is dummy proof like you don't have to do much you plug it in and you go and that's it the next thing i recommend is a drying rack and i have this drying rack i recommend a drying rack because you really don't want your baby's bottles and everything that he's using or she's using with your other dishes and stuff it's just better to have that stuff separate from your household pots and pans and plates and stuff next thing you mamas are gonna want is a haka it's a silicone breast pump it's just a manual breast pump and basically you put it on your boob and i like to use it when baby's on one boob because for some reason, once baby starts sucking on one boob, you're going to notice the other boob is leaking. So this bad boy picks up any milk that may be leaking from the other boob. That way you're not wasting milk because trust me mamas, every drop counts. So I definitely recommend getting a haka. And with that, obviously, if you are pumping, you need a breast pump. I have two breast pumps. I have the Medella and I have the Spectra. So... I have both of them I rotate them I will tell you guys which one I like the most in another video but yeah I use both of them and just look check with your insurance before you go out and purchase a breast pump the next thing I recommend are glass um, mason jars for storing your milk I was using the breast milk storage bags my problem with them is one they are for one time use so you're going through bags like crazy and two they actually destroy a lot of the nutrients that are in your baby's breast milk i can link below a reference for you guys or maybe i'll put it on the screen somewhere but the glass mason jars are definitely the way for you guys to go yes they take up a bit more room but is room worth your baby's health which one do you prefer room or health just saying my next newborn must have is a baby swing yay now baby swings range in all different prices so i definitely recommend you finding one that works for you i actually have two baby swings i have a mama rule for moms which i actually received as a gift from my best friend thank you baby and i have another baby swing that's a bit cheaper and i will show you guys a picture of it Jaden, he really likes both of them there are times where he he's not a fan of the mom rule i feel like but then there's a time when he's just not a fan of being down in a swing period but you really do need a swing if you want to get things done sometimes your baby just needs to go down while you cook while you clean while you do anything and the swing and the motions are definitely worth it i'm going to show you the mama rule all right guys so this is my four moms mama rule i here's the power button five different motions so you have the car ride and then you have five different speeds five motions five speeds so this is the car ride this is number one two three four and five and then you have the kangaroo which goes kind of like it shows you what it does so that's the kangaroo this is the tree swing this is the rockabye 
and the wave. I find that Jaden really likes the car ride or the wave. But I love the fact that this has so many different settings. It's really an amazing product. It is expensive. Maybe put it on your registry anyway. And maybe people will gift it to you. Group gifting. Things like that. My last item that is a must have is my diaper bag. And I actually got a few diaper bags for, for at my baby shower. This is my all time favorite one. I love this one. It's like a backpack. Oh, this is the skip hop. And I like it. It's like a little leather. It's cute. It's fashionable. And it actually came with a changing pad. And it has a lot of different pockets. It has um, the side, one side pocket. It has one pocket here in the front. Sorry guys, I'm trying to show you. One pocket here in the front and in this pocket, it actually has another little pouch here that you can probably put your phone or something in. And then it has this one big pocket here and here it has these little pockets that I usually put like bottles or something in. And then it has this pocket in the back. So it has a lot of different areas that you can use. And I absolutely love it. Every time I go out, I use it. Um, and yeah, I just love it. Okay, mamas, I really hope that this video helped you to finish off your registry. If you have any questions, comment down below. And do not forget to like this video, guys. I'll be back with another one very soon. Bye.